this video, we will learn how to solve this nice exponential equation. But then, to solve this exponential equation, your knowledge of uh, indices need to be seriously grounded. Now, to solve this question, there are two laws of indices you uh, should first of all re recall. Recall that if you have a to the power of x plus y, that this can be equal to a to the power of x, right? Multiplied by a to the power of y. That's taken. And if you have a to the power of x minus y, this can be equal to a to the power of x divided by a to the power of y. These are laws of indices that can be applied over here and what and here. Now let's let's do that to simplify this equation. Now to apply as we apply that law of indices, we are going to see that this n will give us 7 to the power of 1, right? Multiply by 7 to the power of x, right? Plus this is going to give us 7 to the power of 1 divided by 7 to the power of x and this will be equal to 15. Great. Now, having done that, we are going to simply simplify. And to simply simplify this, you come to see that we have x to the power, 7 to the power of x uh, to be uh, common. So what we are going to do is we are going to let our 7 to the power of x to be equal to p. Now if we take 7 to the power of x to be equal to p, then this will give us 7 to the power of 1 multiplied by p, right? Plus 7 to the power of 1 divided by p, right? And this will be equal to 50. Now I haven't done that. We want to do away with the fraction and to do away with the fraction all we need to do is to multiply both sides by p so this is going to give us 7 to the power of 1 multiplied by p multiplied by another p right and then this would be plus this would be plus 7 to the power of 1 right divided by p multiplied by uh, this p and this will be equal to 50 multiplied by p now we have introduced that p into this and now since we have introduced that p into this you come to see that this other side uh, p will become 7 to the power of p what p square right and this will be plus, this p is going to clear this p and then we'll have 7 because 7 to the power of 1 is 7 and this will be equal to 50 what? 50 p. Now we're going to subtract 50 p from both sides. If we subtract 50 p from both sides, we'll have our 7 p square minus 50 p plus 7 and then on the right hand side 50p minus 50p is going to give us zero great so this is a quadratic equation to solve this quadratic equation all we simply need to do is to uh, apply one simplification now if we have negative 50 right we have negative 50 negative 50 can be equal to negative 49 right minus what minus 1. So if we have negative 49 minus 1, it can still give us negative 50. So we're going to insert that over there and replace that with 50. So this will give us 7p squared minus 49p, right? Minus p, which is 1p plus 7, and this will be equal to 0. Great. Now let's simplify this further. Over here, you come to see that we have 7p to be common, right? We bring out 7p, we have our p minus what? Minus 7. If you simplify this, you come to see that this will give you O of this. So we have minus 1 all multiplied by p minus what? 7. 
and this will be equal to zero. Great. Now, come to see this, that will have seven minus, P minus seven to be common. So on this side, we're going to have a uh, seven P minus one, right? Which is this and this. And then we'll have the common terms, P minus seven, and this will be equal to zero. Good. So if we have this, this is going to produce the first case, uh, 7p minus 1 to be equal to 0. And the second case, we are going to have uh, p minus 7 to be equal to 0. Now, from here, we can add 1 to both sides. So we'll have uh, 7p minus 1 plus 1 equal to 0 plus one so one we clear one and then what do we have we're going to have a 7p to be equal to one so if we divide both sides by seven we're going to have finally a p to be equal to on this side a p will be equal to one divided by what seven and that gives us the first solution to the value of p now let's check out this other side. To solve this other side, what we simply need to do is to add P to both sides. So we'll have our P minus 7 plus 7, and that will be equal to 0 plus 7. So this will clear this, and then we'll have our P will be equal to 7. And this is the solution to that question. So we have our p to be equal to, we have the value of our p to now be equal to 1 divided by 7 and what? And 7. Now recall that we made our 7 to the power of x to be equal to p. Recall, right? So we are going to find the value of x because that is what the question says we should find. So if we have a uh, 7 to the power of x to be equal to p, in the first case, if p is equal to 1 divided by 7, we're going to have that expression to now give us 7 to the power of x to be equal to, right, 1 divided by what? 7. And recall from the law of indices that if you have a to the power of uh, a to the power of uh, minus one. This can be equal to one divided by a. So how do we apply that here? This is going to give us seven x, and one divided by seven can simply give us seven to the power of negative one. So we have same base, right? If we have same base. And according to the law of indices, if you recall, you have a to the power of x equal to a to the power of y, then your x will be equal to y. So if we have same base here, that will simply make our x to be equal to negative 1. So the value of x is equal to negative 1. That's the first solution we'll get. Now the next solution, we'll come to see that our p is equal to 7. So if we have our p to be equal to 7, this will simply give us uh, 7 to the power of x to be equal to 7. I recall 7 can be equal to 7 to the power of 1, right? So if we have 7 to the power of 1, this can simply give us, we have same base, and then that will be our x Will be equal to one so you see that the value of x is equal to negative the values of x is equal to negative one and x is also what one these are the two solutions to that questions that is given to us above here now come to see this we're going to test if these two variables, uh, these two values of x we get, can simply give us the uh, are simply the correct solutions to that exponential equation. First of all, we are going to use the value of 
x to the equal to negative 1. If we use the value of x equal to negative 1, remember the question says 7 to the power of, uh, we are given 7 to the power of, 7 to the power of x, right? 7 to the power of, 7 to the power of 1 plus x, and then we'll have the other one to be 7 to the power of, 7 to the power of 1 plus x plus 7 to the power of 1 x minus 1 or 1 minus x and we said it must be equal to what 50. Now let's insert the value of negative 1. If we do that we are going to have this to become 7 to the power of 1 plus bracket negative 1 right plus 7 to the power of 1 minus bracket negative 1. So will this give us 50? Now let's find out. If we have this, this is definitely going to give us 1 minus 7 to the power of 1 minus 1 plus 7 to the power of 1 plus what? 1. 7 to the power of 1 minus 1 is equal to 7 to the power of 0 plus this will give us 7 to the power of 2. And 7 to the power of 0, recall anything raised to power 0 is what? 1 plus 7 to the power of 2 is what? 49. So 1 plus 49 is equal to 50. So you see 50 on the left hand side equal to 50 on the right hand side. So that tells us that x equal to negative 1 is a real solution to that exponential equation. Now I want you to try out using x equal to 1 and whatever your solution is, drop it in the description section and we can interact from there. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, also share it with friends and colleagues and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics solutions. Thanks so much for watching and bye bye for now.